to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Now please hear me. We are going to do this very fast, and I want you to please participate. I'm about to pray for the sick. Do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go. Mm -mm. It was Archbe Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. I'm about to pray for the sick. And please hear me. I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe that you will be healed. And then, if you are standing in for someone, whether for those following online, or you have a loved one, like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones, I'm going to pray, and the power of God will rest upon you. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I'm going to give you an opportunity, whether you are in the overflow, at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right we'll take a few testimonies and then i will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest Father, you mandated us to go and heal the sick. You mandated us to cast out devils, to raise the dead, as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, everyone here who is sick, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity, the spirit that is back of that condition, in the name of Jesus, you give way now. Shout a loud amen. Now I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed of blood conditions now. Someone is, I, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's a messy scene I'm seeing in my vision. Someone will start vomiting, like throwing out something, and that will be the end of it. I'm seeing an infirmity. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now. Every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in Jesus name let life touch to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit there are a number of ladies I'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that God heals in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now, let that demonic growth leave your body now. There's someone, it's like you have a problem with your toe. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. 
you have a problem with your toe i don't know what that problem is but in the name of jesus i command that that demonic pain to live now there was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of jesus it will shrink back now we cost that devil in the mighty name of jesus christ you started having this problem when you wake up in the morning your neck it's as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain i declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of jesus i bring you liberty now yeah. hiv be healed yeah. cancer it doesn't matter what stage be healed now yeah. there is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of jesus christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain in jesus name the lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having is like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of jesus christ i command healing for you now now please hear me whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of jesus christ i don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look. Now, I want you to begin to check yourself. Look at this. The collarbone here. The power of God is touching someone right now. That collarbone. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision God is showing me. You have a child that is suffering from autism. Autism. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching that child right now. Autism. Autism. Be healed now. Your, your son, your sister's son, in the name of Jesus, wherever the boy is, we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we're doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow I'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of God is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming I want you to pray 
that in the name of Jesus, every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny, I declare that you are open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. Every door, doors are systems of access. They midwife rooms, they midwife dimensions. Every gate and every door, are you praying? Connected to the next level and the next season of my life. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. Be open for me right now. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. My God, are you seeing miracles? People are coming. People are coming. Pray. God is opening doors. testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point I'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now I told you that the help of God comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the Holy Spirit I like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of September by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny I declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please be seated for a few minutes be sensitive now yes please very quickly very quickly your testimony let's do that very fast Hallelujah. I have been having this please, can we have a bit of volume on this mic I've been having this waist pain so you've I been having pain. waist pain yes for how long for four years four now. years, four years now. what happened to you now Bend. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Waste pain gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. I came here with um, difficulty in breathing. And I difficulty just, in breathing. breathing. So I just fell under anointing and I just got up. And you I fell under the anointing. And right now, fine. breathe in and out. Completely gone. Can you imagine? Listen. Did you know? Listen, listen, listen. Look how many people God is touching. Do you know that sometimes, look at a lady, she comes having this problem and what happens is she falls under the anointing and that's the end of it. This is how someone will go to bed and this spirit will oppress them and they never wake up. Never wake up. Place your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, it remains permanent. Permanent. In Jesus name go and walk in the liberty of Jesus yes so, please so this woman happens to have had healing from two of the cases that you mentioned two of the cases yes, the one on the foot you remember talking about somebody that had um, you know a pain on the okay foot. the food so let her talk and then the okay I woke up last month with 
that I can I was not unable to turn my eyes. Right now, what happened to you? I, I turn it. Go ahead. Let the devil see you turn it. You couldn't do this yes. for how long? For one month now. I just woke up and I could not in the I name of praying. Jesus Christ. Your healing remains permanent. God bless you. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Since two years now, I've been having a serious chest pain. So immediately I was laying, I felt something, a burning sensation. Then I didn't feel the pain again. And it just left. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Two days ago, I woke up with a neck pain. And, you know, I just thought it was a joke. But that night when I went to bed, um, I woke up to ease myself around 12 in the night and realized that I couldn't get up. So I felt trapped. You couldn't in my get body. up? Wow. I couldn't get up. The, the pain um, went from my neck all the way down yes. to my back and I felt like I was trapped in my body and all that. And right and now? Right now it's gone. I couldn't Completely. Oh, completely. Completely. No pain. As well. no pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. It I, lift it now. I'm able to lift it. Lift it. Lift it again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Um, for, for, for some months now, I've had um, problems with my knee. Your knee? Yes, my okay. both knees. Um, I could not flex my knees for a, sustained, for a sustained period of time. Okay. But now it's possible. And then I walked in here with back pain. But even before we prayed, the back pain left. Completely. In Jesus' name, this knee condition, we curse it. It will never return to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I've been having pains on my shoulder for months now. And when the man of God was praying, the pains disappeared. Completely gone. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. It's gone forever. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. For some months now, I could not be able to fix my chest like this. It seems as if there is block inside my chest. But right now, I check can't. yourself. And do like it's this. completely gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, so why we are praying for pastors? My dad is actually a pastor. For the past four years, my dad has been diagnosed with Parkinson and partial stroke. So while you were praying, I just called and then I put the phone on the speaker and then he was responding, Amen. All of a sudden, his voice ceased and then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. He said he said a feeling vibration. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. I didn't even hear what she said. Honestly, the Lord was showing me something else. What did you say? My, when you were praying for the pastors, my dad had been diagnosed of Parkinson's since of, um, last Parkinson's. four years. Parkinson's? Yes, sir. And then with partial stroke, he has not been able to preach all the way. And he's a pastor. And he's a pastor. Right now, what happened? <laughs> Why you were praying? I called and I put the phone on speaker. And all of a sudden, his voice ceased. And then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. And then she said he's a dead shivering. And then he, he started moving his body. He started moving his body. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you, listen. As soon as as soon as she started talking the lord opened my eyes and i was seeing something else that was why i was not i just saw a word congratulations listen and as soon as i saw that word congratulations i had this song hey bezina help me chuku non-stop the truth see you see back 
spiritual things don't make sense but blessed is she that believes you can believe this and receive it and you will be surprised some of you right here in church even before you come out someone will just call you and say congratulations hallelujah yes please go ahead no 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 don't hold the mic straight to the point we may not I, be okay i had an accident you had an accident this is five years ago and uh, how long I five have years two and what happened i have two pains and they refused to go but as uh, you were minister i prayed and i can't feel the pain anymore in the name of jesus it leaves you right now by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah hold on stand up man. where is the child is she okay how long has she been a widow uh, have you been a widow my husband died last two months july but he was buried last month 31st of August. So what happened that you couldn't pay the child's school fees? I hope he died without leaving anything for us. What of you, madam? Don't be embarrassed. I didn't call you to embarrass. That last two years. Two years. And you could not afford your child's school fees? Been difficult, sir. Why? I'm not really doing anything and he did anything for us. You came from where? Here we, sir. You believe in miracles yes, sir. i'm going to pray for you because when i saw that the lord asked me to give you the school fees of the child this is not this is not some showmanship we're not interested in all that it's just to tell you that no matter where you are you see god uses people to show you what he can do how does a woman sit down like this a program is happening and in the sincerity of her heart, she said, my own problem is I came Newe is, um, from an number. How many hours? That's what I'm, give me an example. Yeah, an About four hours. And she came and sat outside, not knowing anybody. And yet God picks her and decides to wipe her tears. This is an example to tell you that you can be anywhere and God can come to you and reach you and wipe your tears. Are we together? Don't say, I do not know any man. Remember the helper. The helper. So please, um, let me see these two people after service. Eh? May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take one or two, one or two of the testimonies. We have to hurry up. Our time is gone. Please, let's take any two two or three yes please go ahead so i've been trusting god for healing i've been having a severe pain since it started last severe year. pain yes for how yeah. long for last year as of last year and so, right now what happened immediately i was praying this thing just stopped completely yes, in the name of jesus that pain leaves you never to return to you again in jesus name let's celebrate her yes please praise the lord i've been having this pain my left shoulder you and notice that most of the miracles have to do with pain, pain, pain. Let me tell you this. When you see the Lord doing the same thing, it is a message he's bringing. Remember, help I taught you has to do with taking away, making things easy. And notice that most of the pain has to do with the shoulder. The shoulder is where you carry load. It's a message God is speaking that I'm taking away burdens, I'm taking away loads, and I prophesy to someone's life tonight, in the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven arise in his power and take away every luggage that has been placed by the devil over your life. The pain used to be seasonal. It's been years now. For some time, I'll start feeling it. And, and, and right now, it's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Let that man and that woman be the last. My apologies. I'll, Praise I'll... the Lord. 
for past, like for past three months. I like to hear this lady's me. testimony. So okay. Last month, I can't even. What happened to you? My waist is paying me for past three months. And right now, what happened? Right now, I can Completely. Look at this. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. I've, I had pain, excruciating pain on my neck. I came here with serious pain this evening. Even the drugs I took couldn't help me. But as the prayer was going on for the sick, I'm free. Completely. No pain again. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. This lady seems pressed on her testimony. What happened to you? I came here with my lens. This is my lens. I don't see very well without this lens. And the last time I went to Chicago, my doctor said that if I don't go for glaucoma eye surgery, I'm going to go blind. And again, I'm a widow with two sons. If I go blind without my husband, I don't even know how to take care of my children. And what now, happened to you? Now, after receiving the deliverance, Helen, I was at the other side. I have to walk from there without this lens to here. Look at this. Pastor, thank you for this conference. In your obedience is someone's salvation. In your obedience is someone's healing. In your obedience is someone's restoration. Look what has happened to this woman. Do you know what it means to come to church and go back? Those who saw you going to church, you returned back. What happened? I went to the house of God. What happened there? I met God, the God of the Bible. In the name of Jesus, my dear, it will never return to you again. Your healing remains permanent. In Jesus name yes please let me have one more person and then I pray this woman is itching goodness we're working with time you have a testimony okay come let me just my apologies not just creating superiority but let me just hear what what's the testimony praise God I'm having high blood pressure since uh, 13 years I lost my husband I'm since taking, 13 years yes, I'm taking drugs on April I just notice that my system changed so my sugar level i didn't get sugar level for since the april the thing just shoot up to 381 from uh, since that then i'm visiting hospital of uh, uh, unth now they now say i should do tests of uh, liver they say the liver in large and the dropping since there i'm having pains here but after that uh, prayer the pains has gone from here i feel here. Okay. I have to return back to God. Who will take care of my six children if I die? I say, God, thank you for what He has done. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you have no business with death. This healing remains permanent. And I cause any spirit behind any pain. In Jesus' name, I pray. For the sake of time, you have a testimony? Oh, dear. You see, my people, you see how why miracle services usually okay. Let's let's just allow Hi, this time testimony, sir. I came to see you in Abuja, made miracle service with this baby. He wasn't talking, he didn't hold his neck from bed. Baby has been walking before we came. Oh, you went to Abuja? Yes, made miracle service. Sir. You saw us around 12, eight, mid, 12 midnight. You prayed and said there should be restoration. When we were coming back, my husband called. And he said hello. Other people were receiving calls. If you hear a phone call, he will say hello, hello. The therapist that are seeing him said that he's now due to start a regular school and mix up with other children. Oh dear. <laughs> that, he, that, that he's improving. That he's improving. That his speech is improving. I just want to in, say In the thank name you of Jesus, Jesus Christ. You see. For you to appreciate a miracle, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the people. Are we together? You do not know how inconveniencing, by the privilege of God's grace and what I do, there are people when you see their conditions, even after prayer, you feel like weeping. Because the load, the load that their family members, 
especially maybe issues that relate to autism and all of these things may god keep anointing mighty men in enugu state who will continue to do the work of healing of power of restoration in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen for the sake of time let me just speak oh dear look at there are so many people begging to testify would you forgive me if if we allow now here's what will happen here's what will happen it doesn't matter whether you testify in this session or any other session the most important thing is to know that god has done this so i may i plead with any of maybe any official so that at least we honor them for coming to stand so long to testify who is that one lifting a phone what happened oh you were healed the person on the phone from where he's in where no 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 you don't have to go with the mic huh in the village for you and everyone who has been touched by the power of god i decree in the name of jesus your miracles remain permanent you will experience the grace of god in the name of jesus christ please everybody stand everybody stand everybody stand please stand everyone there are just two things I want to do thank you for your patience number one I began to speak to you and I told you that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to non-believers a non-believer or a non-believer is one who has not had a personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and there are thousands of people all across this arena and environs and many of them are saying apostle I know hearing you teach about the Holy Spirit I have not allowed him to carry out his ministry that noble ministry in my life and as it is right now I cannot really say I am saved or you are saying apostle I remember giving my life to Jesus Christ but as it is right now I cannot sincerely say my relationship is fine with him you may be in the main auditorium here up the balcony or any of the tents or you may be falling online by way of television by way of the internet or even by way of rebroadcast it does not matter we cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life listen it pays to serve Jesus and it pays to love Jesus and to give surrender your entire life to him you've tried other options lesser and by far more inferior options give him a chance to fix your life and indeed to help you the Bible says when we are saved we are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son I'm going to make an altar call and we just have two minutes for you before I speak over your life and we're done you are in this auditorium you're outside I'm going to count one to five and as I begin to count I want you to run and come and stand here the moment this place is filled then you will make use of your LED screens wherever you are you need to make it right with Jesus I don't expect you to be thinking about it by now you should know run like there's fire on the mountain I begin my counting now please when you come don't kneel stand for the sake of space one are we celebrating salvation two three make sure you are coming to Jesus genuinely he can give you a new beginning Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye